ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ वन ऑफ अप्रैल 2024 एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन दिस लाइफ ऑफ योर्स इज इवन मोर एलिवेटेड देन दैट ऑफ द डेटीज बिकॉज बाय नोइंग द क्रिएटर एंड क्रिएशन एक्यूरेटली यू हैव नाउ बिकम थीज question what is the speciality of the confluence is it family of god which will not exist throughout the rest of the whole cycle answer at this time god becomes the father and looks after you children he becomes the teacher and teaches you he becomes the satguru and makes you into beautiful flowers and takes you back with him In the golden age, there will be the deity family, but not such a family of God. You children are now unlimited sannyasis and also rajyogis. You are studying for a kingdom. Om Shanti. This is a school or part sala brackets place of study. Part sala for whom? A part sala for souls. a soul definitely cannot hear anything without a body when it is said that this is a part sala for souls it should be understood that souls without bodies cannot understand anything in that case you have to say living beings all part salas are for living beings this is why it is said that this is the part sala for souls and that the supreme father the supreme soul comes and teaches them those studies are physical whereas this is the spiritual study that the unlimited father teaches you so this is the university of god the father there are the virgins of god this is not the path of devotion this is a study one studies at school devotion is performed in temples etc who is teaching you here god speaks god doesn't speak at any other part sala it is just this one place where god speaks only god the highest on high is called the ocean of knowledge he alone can give you knowledge all the rest is devotion the father has explained to you about devotion that there cannot be salvation through that only the one supreme soul is the bestower of salvation for all he comes and teaches you raj yoga the soul listens through the body there aren't god's words in any other land knowledge it is only in bharat that the birthday of seva is celebrated god is in corporeal so how can they celebrate the birthday of seva only when he enters a body can there be a birthday the father says i never enter a womb all of you enter a womb you take 84 births lakshmi and narayan take the maximum number of births they take 84 births and he then becomes the ugly one the village urchin you can call them lakshmi and narayan or radhe and krishna radhe and krishna are the childhood form when they take birth they take birth in heaven which is also called paradise theirs is the number one birth and so he is he is also the one who takes 84 births beautiful and ugly beautiful who then becomes ugly Sri Krishna is loved by everyone. Sri Krishna takes birth in the new world. Then while taking rebirth he comes into the old world and becomes ugly. This play is like that. Bharat was at first satu pradhan and beautiful. It has now become impure. The father says all of these souls are my children. Everyone has been sitting on the pyre of lust. and has now become ugly by being burned i come and take everyone back home 
this world cycle is like that the garden of flowers then becomes the forest of thorns the father explains you children were such beautiful masters of the world you are now becoming that lakshmi and narayan were the masters of the world they took 84 births and are now becoming that again that is those souls are now studying you know that there is such limitless happiness in the golden age that there is even no need to remember the father it is remembered everyone remembers god at the time of sorrow whom do they remember the father you don't have to remember all of those people remember so many on the path of devotion they don't know anything they don't know when sri krishna came or who he is they don't even understand the difference between sri krishna and narayan sri baba is the highest on high then below him are brahma vishnu and shankar they are called deities people call all of them god they say that god is omnipresent the father says it is maya the five vices that is omnipresent and in everyone there are no vices in the golden age in the land of liberation too souls are pure there is no question of impurity there so the father the creator comes and gives his own introduction he explains to you the secrets of the beginning middle and end through which you become theist only once you become theist this life of yours is more elevated than that of deities it is sung that human birth is invaluable then when it is the most auspicious confluence is your life becomes like a diamond lakshmi and narayan would not be said to be like diamonds your birth is like a diamond you are god's children whereas they are deity children here you say that you are god's children and that god is your father he is teaching you because he is the ocean of knowledge he is teaching you raj yoga only once at the most auspicious confluence is do you receive this knowledge this is the age in which you become the most elevated beings but the world doesn't know about this all are sleeping in the sleep of kumbhakarna the sleep of ignorance destruction of everyone is just ahead and this is why you children mustn't keep a relationship with anyone it is said whatever you remember in your final moments if you remember the baba in your final moments you will go into the narayan clan this letter is very good it is written we were deities and we then became warriors etc let me repeat it it is said whenever sorry it is said whatever you remember in your final moments if you remember se baba in your final moments you will go into the narayan clan this letter is very good it is written we were deities and we then became warriors etc at this time it is the kingdom of ravan we forgot our original eternal deity religion and became trapped in other religions this whole world is lanka there wasn't any other golden lanka the father says you have defamed me even more than you have defamed yourselves you say of yourselves that you take 8.4 million births whereas you have said of me that i am in every particle i come and uplift even those who defame me in this way the father says you are not to be blamed this is the performance of the drama it is from the beginning of the golden age to the end of the iron age and it has to turn no one except the father can explain it to you all of you are brahma kumars and kumaris you brahmins are god's children you are sitting in god's family in the golden age there will be the deity family in this family of god god looks after you teaches you and makes you into 
beautiful flowers and then takes you back with him. You are studying to change from human beings into deities. It is written in the Granth that it it did not it didn't take God long to change human beings into deities. This is why God is also called the magician. To make hell into heaven is magic. It takes 84 births for heaven to change into hell. And then it changes from hell into heaven in, at a snap of your fingers. Brackets in just a second. Liberation in life is received in a second. I am a soul. You know about souls and you know the father. No other human beings know what a soul is. There are many gurus but only one Sadguru. It is said the Sadhguru is immortal, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is the only Sadhguru. But there are many Gurus, none of them are viceless, all of them take birth through vice. The kingdom is now being established. All of you are studying here for a kingdom. You are Raj Yogis, unlimited sannyasis. Those Hathi Yogis are limited sannyasis. The Father comes, grants everyone salvation and makes everyone happy. I am called the Satguru, the immortal image. There we do not repeatedly shade bodies and take others. Death doesn't come there. You souls are imperishable, but you become impure and pure. Souls are not immune to the effect of action. Only the Father explains the secrets of the drama to you. Only the Creator would explain to you the secrets of the beginning, middle and end of creation. That one Father alone is the ocean of knowledge. He is changing you from human beings into deities and making you double ground. Your births were like cells and you are now becoming like diamonds. The Father has also explained to you the meaning of the mantra, Hum so, so hum. Those people say that each soul is the supreme soul and that the supreme soul is the so hum so so hum. The father says how can souls be the supreme soul? The father explains to you it is I this soul am a Brahmin at this time and then I this soul will become a deity from a Brahmin, then a warrior and then a Brahmin from a Sudra. Your births are the most elevated of all. This is God's home. With whom are you sitting? With the mother and father? All are brothers and sisters. The father is teaching you souls. All of you are my children who have a right to the inheritance. This is why everyone can claim the inheritance from the father, the supreme soul. Old, young and little ones all have a right to claim the inheritance from the father. This is why you have to explain to the children. Consider yourselves to be souls and remember the father and your sins will be cut away. Those on the path of devotion will not understand these things. Acha, to the sweetest beloved log lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father Bhaptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Ninth class, you children recognize the father. You do understand that the father is teaching you and that you are to receive the unlimited inheritance from him. But the difficulty is that Maya makes you forget. She causes one obstacle or another which children are afraid of. In that to the foremost number, Maya is that of falling into vice. Your eyes deceive you. It is not a question of removing your eyes. The father gives each of you an eye of knowledge. There is a war between knowledge and ignorance. The father, the father is knowledge and Maya is ignorance. This war is very strong. When someone falls, he doesn't even understand it. But then he realizes that he has fallen and that he has brought a great loss to himself. Once Maya has defeated you, it becomes very difficult for you to climb up. 
Many children say that they go into trance, but Maya interferes in that too. They aren't even aware of it. Maya makes them steal and tell lies. What doesn't Maya make you do? Don't even ask. She makes you dirty while becoming flowers. You become dirty. Maya is so powerful that she repeatedly makes you fall. Children say, Baba, I repeatedly forget you. It is only the one father who inspires you to make effort. But if it is not in the fortune of some, they are unable to make effort. No one can be favored in this, nor can anyone be given extra tuition. In other studies, a teacher is especially called to give extra tuitions. Here you are all taught to the same extent in order for you to create your fortune. To what extent could each one be taught individually? There are so many children. In other studies, some would be children of eminent people. And because they are able to spend a lot of money, they are given extra tuition. A teacher knows when someone is dull and so he teaches that one to make him capable of claiming a scholarship. This father does not do that. This father teaches everyone to the same extent. Other teachers inspire you to make extra effort. This one does not make anyone make extra effort. To inspire someone to make extra effort means that the teacher has mercy. Even though he gets paid for that, he especially gives time and teaches the students so that they are able to become clever by studying more. Here, there is no question of his studying more. This one says the same thing to everyone. He only gives the one great mantra of Man Manabhav. You children understand what happens by having remembrance. Only the father is the purifier and you know that by remembering him you will become pure. Acha, good night. Essence for dharana number one. This whole world is now to turn into a graveyard. Destruction is just ahead, therefore do not have any relationships with anyone. At the final moments, remember the one father alone. Second, this is the confluence age in which you can become beautiful from ugly and pure from impure. This is the time to become the most elevated human beings. Constantly have this awareness and make yourself like a diamond from a cell. Blessing, may you be a multi-millionaire with the wealth of knowledge and attain all the facilities of matter. The wealth of knowledge automatically enables you to attain physical wealth. Where there is the wealth of knowledge, matter automatically becomes your servant. When you have the wealth of knowledge, you automatically attain all the facilities of matter. Therefore, the wealth of knowledge is the king over all wealth. Where there is the king, he automatically attains all possessions. It is this wealth of knowledge that makes you a multimillionaire. It is automatically proved in all your relationships. There is so much power in the wealth of knowledge that it makes you into a king of kings for innumerable births. Slogan, I am victorious every cycle. Let this spiritual intoxication emerge and you will then become conqueror of Maya. Slogan, I am victorious every cycle. Let this spiritual intoxication emerge and you will then become conqueror of Maya. Om Shanti